Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are for some more Pioneer action. Today we're going to be playing this green-black Hardened Scales deck. Um, so it's basically like the Hardened Scales Affinity deck from Modern. Of course it's missing a couple of the pieces, but it's still got the general engine. So we're going to give it a try and see how it goes. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, for those who haven't watched this channel for very long, Hardened Scales is one of my, fa one of my more enjoyable, quote-unquote aggressive slash combo -y decks in the format. Um, We've played it quite a bit. I'm excited to try out in standard. So the big difference here is, of course, we have we still have the Steel Overseers, we still have the Hardened Scales, we still have Ballistas and Walking Ballista or and Hangerback Walkers. We also have Stone Coil Serpent, which is new from Throne of Eldraine, which is really good. Reach Trample Protection from Multicolored, and just comes into play with X plus one plus counters on it. We got Nissa Voice of Zendikar to make creatures and put make some token or and put plus one plus counters. Uh, Rish card's pretty cool. You gotta put some counters on some stuff. They can then tap for mana. That's probably not gonna be too relevant. But the making stuff bigger is pretty sweet. Of course, our removal on the main board is gonna be Abrupt Decay and Fatal Pushes. And we have four once upon a time. 21 lands. Post, our sideboard is three Thoughtseize, two Graft Area's Cage, two Grasp, two Trophies, one Spyglass, two Witch's Vengeance. Kind of weird one to me, but... This is a deck list I found on MTG Goldfish. It was, I believe, a 6-0 deck from, a ch from the Pioneer Challenge. So I'm just trying out the way it is. And then the last two cards are, of course, Either Sphere Harvester, which I assume is against the, like, Boros at Burn slash Mono Red Aggro slash Mono Red Devotion type decks. I would assume. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to go and hop into some matches here. See how the deck fills, and we'll be back in just a moment. Alright, here we are for round one with Hardened Scales. And we're going to mulligan no lands. Alright, I think this hand's okay. We got a decent curve here. Um, the real question is, do we put a land to the bottom? I think we do. I think our hand's pretty strong, and uh, even if we don't draw another land, we're okay. Alright. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Trail of Crumbs. All right. So that's going to certainly get abrupt decayed here in a turn. But I think I'm going to get a winding searcher down first. Hmm. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe we're supposed to just kill us now. Hmm. Second Trail of Crumbs. All right. Constrictor. Pay one. All right, let's just go ahead and pass the turn here. Since they play the second trail of crumbs, I don't really want to abrupt a K1. Maybe that's wrong, though. I don't know. Clearly here their intentions are crack some food and draw some cards. Fog, eh? Right, let's kill one of these trails. 
It's going to be less they're going to get off of each of these. Hmm. Yep. And they're getting a reveal of permanent card. Alright. This card seems really good. Annoyingly so with that. Alright, well, land's okay. I don't mind them getting a land here. All right, five mana. There's battlefield creative food. Okay. This is tough. No, let's just do Blist, I guess. Comes in as a 4 4, we'll kill it. Attack 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we would have one more mana, we would have been in great shape here. Could have killed this and kept a blister around. I'm not a fan of trading one for one there, but... Oh, man. That's getting annoying fast. Oh, they're down to one card here. This is, uh, oh my god, that's so annoying. So all the deck does on is make food. Huh? I mean, we definitely picked the wrong matchup for this, right? <laughs> Stupid us picking the aggressive deck. Yep. So for every three mana, they're gaining three life and basically drawing a card. Except they're not just drawing a card, they're getting to pick a card. Alright, well this is getting annoying, that's for sure, but... That's where we're at, I guess. I'm doing this because if we don't draw it on the land again next turn, we can just play out the Walking Ballista and still pump this if we decide to. We're attacking with it, depending on what we got to do. Goose, which is a little annoying. Right, down to one card in hand. But they still got another activation of this Trail of Crumbs. I'm assuming they're playing things like Oko, Wicked Wolf. I'm assuming they're playing all these different cards like that that work really well with this trail. I'm really glad we killed that that second one now, because otherwise we'd be we'd be in bad shape. Hmm. Another goose. That's annoying. But nothing we can actually do about the goose there, to be honest. Yep. Alright, deck, come on, show me some love one time. Uh, 
Well, that's going to be a huge stone, stone coil serpent. But I think I would rather just do this right now. And then play this with four. And I'm going to kill one of these. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. All right. Down to seven. I mean, they get a lot of dig in here, and they got so they got a lot of life to gain too. At this rate, they gain six more life, so they'd be at sixteen again. And we go to four, eight, twelve. 15, 16, 18, all right. Well, they're still, even at 16 life, they're still dead on board. Not counting the pitching the counters off of this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting they chose to block the one that's going to trample over. All right, so... Thoughts he's... Definitely consideration here. Source of spyglass and pithing needle in consideration for naming food. Or Oko, because I have a feeling they're playing Oko. Um, grasp and trophies also in consideration here. Alright, I think. I don't think I want to change too much. I do think like maybe trimming something along the lines like this. Just bring in thought seizes. Because the problem with this bring one of these in and naming a food naming food is the fact that they can still use their goose to sack it. Maybe one of the trophies. You know what? Let's just try it like this. If we really have a problem still, we'll grab the trophies too. Alright, this is pretty much straight interaction. They're gonna mulligan though. Hmm. Let's keep it. I feel like <clears throat> this hand's not great, but I feel like it's good enough. I feel like we have a lot of really good draws in our deck. Plus, we're still learning the deck, so, like, you know, nothing wrong with learning how to play, learning a hand here. Oh, that that sucks, though. Drawing a land there really sucks. Mm -hmm. All right, Goose. The goose. Okay, so just making a food. That's fine. I like it. Alright, let's go tapped land. Push. No, it may not matter, but this cuts them off their guaranteed third mana. And if they have, like, if they go land Oko. Then they're down to two cards and we get to kill Oko next turn. Which isn't bad. All 
Alright, that's pretty good for us. Alright, that's a great draw. Yep. I'm super happy about that draw there. Oh, why are you doing that? Stop. Make plants, and we'll pass. Also, to note next turn, if we absolutely have to, we can actually go forest, rich car, put, spread the plus one, plus one counters. Oh, you're an evil person. Uh, that might get a replicate this turn. Just saying I might have replicated this. I'm not saying for sure. But I'm saying I'm definitely thinking about it. Uh-huh. Yep. Kill that. Make a token. And we'll pass. Now this still has a we still have this backup of Rub Decay for an Oko or anything like that. There's a third land. So they could have a lot they could play now. They've been stuck on two mana for a while. Uh, okay. Couldn't they have made a 7-7 seven, seven giant token? That's weird. <sighs> Alright. Talk about living life. Yeah, let's turn the table sideways. Yeah, I'd be saying if I wasn't a fan of that. That was a good draw. I mean, this deck seems sweet. Like, I like it a lot. I definitely like this deck a lot. Sure. So we make a 7-7? Seven, seven? Nice. So what this reads is make a 7-7 seven, seven, die next turn on the untap. I like it. Because the nice thing about tokens is their CMC is 0. Which means that happens. All right, I was going to say, we didn't need the Karns Bastion, but the Karns Bastion's nice. Uh, yeah, all right. 1-0 so far. All right, we'll be back in just a minute for round number two. All right, so it sounds actually pretty sweet, right? Like, we got one spawn of time to find us another land or another creature. And then we also have uh, Constrictor into some pretty good stuff, plus removal. I'm going to keep it. Um, actually... Okay, I was going to say, we shouldn't auto-pass there, actually, now that I think about it, because if they thought sees us, well, I guess we still don't want a one spawn time. If they're going to take one spawn time, that's probably fine with us. Alright, so, because I'm not going to play anything here on turn one, actually, wait, hold on, what do we have on turn one? Just harden scales, yeah, just harden scales and pushes, so I'm not going to play anything on turn one here, so I'm not going to cast this one spawn time. All right, so unfortunately, here is a big problem we're going to have. <clears throat> they
They could very easily have a sensor here. I'm going to take this Rishkar. They could have a sensor. That's not going to be fun for us. Right, let's do this. Let's go. Do we play around sensor or do we play around syncopate? Well, we can't play around syncopate, right? We're just screwed if they have a syncopate at the moment. All right, yeah, let's just let's just jam it. We gotta counter every one of our threats. Oh, it resolves. All right, that means it's probably getting deck and stoned. Last breath. Never mind. Oh, brazen borrowed. Okay, that is of all the possible outcomes. Like that's the best one, right? I could really we paid three life to do that because the other alternative was. All right, so I'm gonna play this morning constrictor, hoping they're gonna try to counter it. We're going to look real dumb if we get this hardened scale censored. But. Oof, spell colored. Okay. That's actually fine, right? Like next turn we can abrupt decay this and then play like sto uh, Stone Coil Serpent. All right, that's cool. I mean, that's still okay, right? Like, we can't replay this next turn. But, I do get to do this. And play this on t one. I can get a two two. So Yep. Taking it. Hmm. A little concerned with settle the record or something like that, but constrictor. Tenth Rishkar. Yep, getting encountered. Sure thing. All right, that is pretty annoying, but. You know, what can we do? Another brazen bar bouncing the hanger back here would be pretty annoying. Mm hmm. Right, draw for turn. Go there. Player of three. All right. Let's just go ahead and pass the turn here. Hmm. Obviously, we kind of wish this was a walking blister, right? <laughs> Oh no, what do we got? Alright, Flash Angel's fine. Yep. Alright, so the blue white flash, that's cool. I can definitely see this being a potential problem. Alright, Spirit's fine. Yep. Draft turn. Hmm. 
Ballista. Let's go here. Yep, play this one for two. All right, let's attack for six. I guess I could have attacked with this one too, right? Like, they'd have to double block here. Mm, yeah, that was wrong. All right, I'm assuming they're finally going to play the Brazen Bar Borrower now. Yep. No surprise. All right, Gideon. Getting emblem here actually is pretty bad for us, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. All right, that's game. Right. Oh wait, this says reach. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, we're still dead. The emblem actually makes it exactly dead. Yep. All right. I mean, there's nothing we can do there, right? Like we block five, take seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yep, and I. Yep, emblem exactly got it. So, with that being the case, Ox Grasp, they got a lot of white permanents. Um,. Thoughtseize also helps deal with that stuff. Um, again, I think we'll just do a little bit of the trimming of things. Do we actually... I feel like here actually this is probably not that good. I feel like maybe just keeping in like the like this do you want the tr trophies it's hard to say let's try it like this yeah I mean <laughs> Gideon I guess was like I didn't think about it I kind of forgot that uh, our suit servant has reach so yeah like uh, just the fact that uh, without the emblem they couldn't actually kill us that turn I forgot about it which actually on that note I think Stone Cold of Serpent is not the right choice to take out I wish to go to Hardened Scales instead because that reach is going to be relevant I will 100% play first. I'm going to roll with this hand. This hand seems great. That kind of sucks, but... Honestly, it is what it is, right? Like... Yep, three of an inspector. Okay. Yeah, land, please. All right. We're just gonna pass, hoping that they don't have land spell queller here to get us. Yep. Yep. Yep, spell caller. Yep, figured. 
Not surprising. Mm hmm. Not surprising at all. Yep. All right. Come on, deck. Uh, I don't know. It'd be a good draw here, actually. Land, I guess. Noxious grasp. All right, I'm gonna attack for four, I guess. This ain't doing me no good just sitting back here. I feel like I'm supposed to try to kill this just so we can try and hit the smuggler's copter. Yep. All right. Well, that felt pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Flutter Mage. Mmm, that sucks. All right. All right, that certainly sucks there, but meh. Yep, inspector. Reflector mage, sure. All right, deck, come on, draw me a land. I think I might once upon a time just for a land here, to be honest. So, I want to get this right. So, I wonder one or more. So, in other words, if I kill this, this is just going to come back and die, right? I believe that's how that works. I mean, let's just go ahead and find out, right? Yep, alright, that is how it works. Just dies. Cool, that's what I thought. Mm, serpent. Yep. Obviously, that makes you feel dumb for killing that when we should have killed the Reflector Mage since it does more damage, but. meh. Also, I'm actually dumb for doing that since uh, Noxious Grass kills Avacyn and Abrupt Decay doesn't. So that's the real dumb part of that. Yep, draw a card. Draw a card. Third Threat Inspector. Alright. Something good? Stone Coil Serpent. Coming as a 3 3. Unless it gets ceremonies rejected, which that's going to piss me off. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're probably going to steal Overseer Rejected here. No. Just Resolves. Okay, that's surprising. Hmm. Alright, Teferi's going to bounce the Steel Overseer. Yep, which is fine. Yep, land. Hmm. 
eat this one. All right, let's go. Still over here. Spell caller. Nice. Yep. Attack and kill the fairy. Yep, kill that. Recast it. Remember, we have to kill this a fairy because if we don't, we can't cast the uh, Steel Overseer off the spell queller, tr spell queller trigger. Taking three down to seven. For obvious reasons, we can't block. Four or two. Is that another spell course? Son of a bitch, man. Yep, that's getting real old real fast. Yep. Well, I mean, I guess you win a lot of games if you just draw all your spell colors, right? Yep. Yeah, let's push one. Yep. Yep, make them indestructible. That's fine. Our creatures are more than big enough to survive. Alright, I guess let's see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, we're not in a great spot here. Uh, Fuck your major wins the game for them. Fuck. That wins the game for them. Alright. All right, well, we'll be back in just a minute for the next round. All right, here we are on the play for round number three. So admittedly, I feel like somewhere along the lines, I misplayed somewhere. Not entirely sure where, but I do feel like I did somewhere. I'm going to keep this. We're going to go turn one, turn two, into turn possibly turn three or turn three. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, it'll also really depend on whether we actually draw our third land. So... Also, if our third land happens to be a green source, that'll drastically change what we do. All right, push. Thought seize. Okay, so we're losing the steel overseer here for sure. Um, I guess maybe not. Not if they have like a, another removal spell, I guess. Mm hmm. All right, so that removes well for the steel overseer, so that tells me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this because if this doesn't die, then we gotta play winding constrictor next turn for sure, and then put a bunch of counters on the, uh, these two. Now, admittedly, this isn't the best plan. If they have a bunch of removal spell in hand, we could be in trouble here. Well. Now we're going to lose our Winding Constrictor, since that's the only card in our hand we can actually cast. 
Yep, and they surveil. Put land in the graveyard. Land. Boom. Um, I think this is generally more powerful. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack and pass like that. All right, push. That's fine. Really? You bend a land, but are now missing your land drop? That doesn't seem very good. And yeah, let's go there, I guess. I feel like those are the better options. All right, well, that's annoying. But not much we can do here. Yep. Alright, play it for one. I guess we could have played it for two here. Yeah, I guess that was wrong. Oh well. Yep, down goes Nissa. Two, three, four, five, four. Alright, let's see. Language or something like that here is very bad for us. Um, also quite bad for us here. All right, let's see what they got. Okay, game three. Game two is what we got. All right, so Grixis. I want Thoughtseize. I want these, and I'm almost certainly going to want Pithy Needle and Spyglasses. Um, so pushes are not dead, but they're probably not super relevant here. Um, I like trimming once upon a time. Uh, this is great here. Um, this is tough because like all of our stuff here has like good utility, but if they're playing like anger or something, this is probably the worst. Um, let's actually do that. Let's just go ahead and not bring in both pithing nil and spyglass and try this let's actually bring in this pithing nil instead of the spyglass let's do that try this six for six swap see how it feels again we're at the point now we're just trying to learn the deck learn the feel of it kind of find out like <sighs> this hand feels weak man if they have like discard spell and a discard spell we're probably just dead right like Whatever, I'm gonna keep it. All right, Jace. Honestly, I think we're on the kill Jace plan here. Alright, well second Jace is uh way more fun than the first. Thoughts ease. Languish downfall scarab god. Alright, let's take Scarab God Play this and pass. Hmm. Yep. Assuming language is getting binned here. Hmm. 
So this card mountain, so one unknown still. They could return the Scarab God and make us discard. It's a thing they can do. Right, let's stack for two. Let's get that damage in before they're incentivized to actually kill our thing. Yep. That tells us the card they drew, and I am going to kill this now in response. Um, this does mean we have to deal with this language still. <sighs> Man. This is not going to be easy. So we're going to play this one because if this one gets killed, it's going to at least leave behind tokens. Alternatively, they could downfall this now. Another push. All right, well, that, that's definitely much more annoying. Because now they're pretty incentivized to command Shatter and bring this back. Yeah, this is this is definitely not good for us here. That's once upon a time. Uh, Alright, let's grab, I guess, Overgrown Tomb. Oh, you know what? The Orn Reef Vastwood thing was probably better to grab here, right? I have to imagine they don't want to just pass the turn here. I have to imagine they're going to feel forced. Yeah. Thanks for the counter. It's going to die. Return Scarab God. Making two one ones. Yep, land Scarab God, I'm guessing. Yep. How do we beat Scarab God is the question. And the answer is, I have absolutely, actually, X is one. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, well, I guess if they languish now, like, they lose their Scarab God as well. I mean, temporarily, because it'll go back to them at the end of the turn, so I guess, I guess this isn't worth it. Yeah, this isn't worth it. I'm dumb. It's not worth the trade. Yeah, it's super not worth the trade. I'm dumb. Because they're just going to get back to Scarab God at the end of the turn. Yeah, that's game. We just can't beat Scarab God. Alright. Uh, with that being the case... These things can help us deal with it. And So the other thing is, like, alright, it's not just Scarab God. It's the fact that we're, all, we're that far behind too now. We have no threats left. I still think we're just going to run it back like this. I would love to play first. I'm going to happily keep this hand. Here's the game plan. Pressure, pressure, pressure. That is 100% our game plan here. Oh, this comes into play tapped. 
I'm an idiot. Yep. I forgot Blooming Marsh is not a forest or a swamp. Yep, that's bad. Alright. So that hopefully won't matter too much. Okay, well. We gotta pretend like it wouldn't have mattered too much. So. Yep. All right, let's attack for one. Yep. It's all you, opponent. It's a pretty good one. I have to admit. Go there. Oh man, Swildering Sun. That's that's pretty annoying. Another kill spell? Yep, of course. Jace, sure. Sure. So here's the awkward part where I have to like kind of trade our ballista for this because Jace is just a little too much to deal with, I think. Really, that could be wrong. Like, dealing with a Jace might be wrong. Maybe we're supposed to not care. Cool. Yeah, we're just getting outclassed by... Just getting outclassed here by Grixis. As it turns out, Colgon's command is a good card. So I don't know if you guys have seen enough of this ass kicking, but I definitely have. All right, we're gonna play the next round. We'll be right back. All right, round four on the play. On the Mulligan. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. We had a once upon a time. We probably could have kept that. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, we, we probably could have kept that. We had a once upon a time, plus the hardened scales. We probably could have found the green source we needed to play a hand, right? Cool. I think I'm going to kill this now. Just don't want to spend the time taking extra damage from it that we don't have to. That sucks. Then there's shit like that, that obviously feels pretty bad that we killed the stupid Soul Scar Mage. Alright, then we're gonna make a token here with her. All right, I got. I just went too fast with this game. Got a little too in my own head there. After the Grixis ass kicking we took. I'm not gonna block. I don't think blocking does anything for me here. I guess blocking would stop that from happening, but. Guess let's take the walking ballista. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All 
Like, we're taking one damage, there's no point in blocking, right? Like, it's just a waste of time. Yep. Oh my god, they had three mountains in their hand. Uh, almost certainly have better cards in their hand now. Uh, yep. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, I guess I shouldn't auto pass because we can actually. Sure. Yep. Alright, let's draw for turn. Well. I mean, I guess, like, <laughs> at least we have this Fatal Push that we can kill this with. Yep. <sighs> Alright. Oh, the two cards in their hand are not good. No. All right, let's see what they got now. All right. I mean, it ruins the only two damage. Hmm. And I don't think we should have done anything there with the ballista. I think we're fine where we're at. We need to force them to do something here. Because, like... And, like, no blocks. I'm not going to block with the ballista here. I guess I'll block with a plant because most of our token stuff isn't... Or most of our counter stuff isn't going to put counters on a plant. Actually, there's no point in blocking with, with a plant, right? Like, we haven't been blocking this far. Why block now? Yep. Alright, well. I guess we're at that point now where we just kind of play the waiting game, right? Hope they don't draw an answer for our walking ballista. Alright. Hmm. Tend to put counters. Try to kill this, I guess. Oh, they got another spell to cast. Yep. Alright, I mean, so we lose our walking ballista there. Uh, unfortunately, they could have killed the ballista no matter how they want to do it. Alright. There's our 3-3 three, three hanger back, Walker. All you, opponent. I'm not blocking. Uh... 
There's nothing I can do about that. Yep. Right. Iron scales. And here's the part where we like desperately hope they just have like a bunch of blanks. Well, I think it's part part where we try to turn the game around now. I could be wrong, but I think we've reached that part of the game. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill it. I think maybe we should just kill it during their turn. Or during our turn. Alright, smaller's copter. Again, the copter's not very scary though without anything else to go along with it. And like at the moment they don't have anything else to go along with it. Maybe it was too aggressive. We were supposed to let ourselves take the hit for one. Alright, light up the stage. So they hit Mountain Ramming Nap. Curious what their last card in hand is. Alright. Deck for six. I don't quite know how we managed to get ourselves back into this game, but it feels pretty good not to just be dead at the moment. Alright. So, against Mono Red. I think Harvester is a card we want. I think they're probably better than maybe like an assortment of these. Maybe. Maybe we're supposed to cut three drops for them. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah, I think let's just submit it like this. Like our removal spell deals with almost everything they have. We could pithing needle or something like the. What call it? But I don't think that's worth it. Yeah. I'm glad despite punting away mulliganing that first hand, we managed to still win. Um, I mean, admittedly, we still could have like lost that hand if we went in a green source. I believe we were missing a green source. I think that's why I immediately just like mulligan because we didn't have a green source in hand, and that was like just way too much of a risk. I think I could be wrong. All right, so I kind of want to keep this hand just because it's got so much removal in it. Like it's gonna answer their first like group of threats. And I'm gonna hold this push. Um, see if they play on two.
All right. Harden scales and we'll pass. All right. All right, frosted on. Kill it and pass. Sure. All right, so let's do this. Let's go. Make it two one make it two two. Yeah. I think I'm gonna block. Yep. Push it. That's a good one. Rishkar. Putting some counters on these boys. Okay. That was weird. They weren't like highlighting up. Attack for three. Sure. That's about what I expected their hand to look like. Smugglers. Sounds good to me. Harvester and pass. Hoping they don't have an abrade, because that would suck. Alright, I'm going to do this. I'm going to once upon a time try to find a land. Seal over seer. Oh, it's so hard to say no to. I gotta do this. Let's go there. Yep, there's that. We'll attack for two. And next turn, I mean, right now they got one card in hand, so we're in a decent spot. All right, we're going to take two here. Yep, taking two from the Raminap Ruins. Shirt sure, chain whirler. Good to me. Yep, crew it. Yep. Crew up it well.
All right, here we go. I get a loop. All right, well, opponent got a little bit lucky there, I guess. All right, now we're going to try to turn this and try to race, I guess. That's, uh, I guess what we're doing here. Um, obviously, they're probably just going to attack with the smuggler's copter so we can't block with the hanger back. Yep. Nope. Yep. Make it very big. Yep. I have a stage here. Land, land. All right. That was what we needed. All right. Um. So hold on a second. So if we go two, that'd be three, four, five. I think that's worth. It. I think that's right. I think that's what we want to do, right? Uh, attack with all these. This puts them dead next turn. Yep, I know. Puts me to five. And I mean, barring a bane fire in hand, I think we're good. Yeah, barring playing land and bane fire is for five, I think we're fine. Which, now that I said that, that's probably what they have. Oh, please don't have bane fire. All right, we got it. Two and two, uh, some sloppy play matches two and three, but uh, we kind of cleaned it up there. So we're going to go ahead and play out the fifth round, and we'll be back in just a minute. All right, here we are. Um, round five. So this is another one of those hands that I really like. Um, admittedly, I'm not sure if we're playing I'm playing it right, but I like the idea of going Stone Coil into Constrictor into one of these two. Um, I think that's a really good start. I'm not sure if that's right. Maybe we're supposed to save the cons the serpent for after we play the constrictor. But even if we don't hit our third land drop on time, we still have walking ballista on three to follow these up. So, but I could see an argument, I guess, for not playing stone coil on one. All right, blue. All right, well, now I'm definitely going to play this a little bit differently. I'm going to still lead on this, but now I think on turn two, I'm going to go Steel Overseer instead. All right, blue, red. All right, they lava coiled it. That's fine. All right, there is our third land, which means I'm going to go Constrictor instead. So, something to remember here is Steel Overseer only puts plus one counters on artifact creatures. 
Uh, which, while in general isn't the end of the world, it absolutely does matter in the context of the rest of the, the rest of our hand. Also, if we get this counter, that's not the end of the world. All right, we cannot pay it. We'd much rather have the Nissa resolve in the long run than the Rishkar. But if Rishkar resolves, obviously we're pretty happy about it. All right, Clarion. All right, let's. What do we draw? All right. Nissa. Not quite my favorite thing to play right here, but Planeswalker is typically good on an empty board. Nissa is no exception. And once upon a time, you're trying to find a land. Are we getting countered? We are getting countered. I'm not going to, uh, I don't want to tick down quite yet. Alright, no plays. Alright, there's that. So. Let's go over to you here, I guess. Got another counter spell. We haven't absorbed. Alright, we are gonna take down here, I think, and just start attacking. Now we could just once upon a time here to resolve it, but I think I'm going to end of turn cast it. All right, another Clarion here. That's fine. All right, let's once upon a time. Let's grab a hanger back. All right, there's that. Now we'll plus her. Yep. All right, two cards. Tap Blooming Marsh. I think I'm going to run another one of these out for two. Another Counterspell. All right, I mean, Jesus, man. <laughs> you got all the answers, so that's hard to beat. Although, honestly, it looks like they're just playing, like, the pre l Drain standard deck. Which, hey, I mean, that's cool. Like, that's what I like about this format is, like, a lot of the times, if you still have your old standard cards from the previous sets. Alright. That really sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Alright, let's... Plus... Crack this. Play this tapped. And we're going to go ahead and attack for one. Kind of want to play Ballista here for one. No, let's just pass. Opponent's down to one card in, or two cards now. Targeting. Perfect. Oh. That's like absolutely what I was hoping for. I'm not specific like detention sphere. But for our opponent to play something that didn't like really impact the board. Or 
or at least something that if it impacted the board, we were able to deal with it with the uh, the, with the abrupt decay we had in hand. Our opponent's still got two cards in hand now. At one. Dig through time. What do we got? It's a fairy. All right, new visit. Sounds good. That was plus. Yep. Not exactly the trade I want, but I'm pretty sure. If we don't do that, they're going to run away with it with that niv -Mizzet. So I'm okay with that trade. Now, another Deafening Clare on here really sucks. They could also have a Verdict. Yeah, Verdict. I mean, that's a great draw. Oh, Faye. Okay. Lava Coil. Anger, but they don't have another land, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're gonna play that to block. Okay. All right. So tick down. Play this. Also tick down. Attack. Alright, now we uh we just really hope that they don't draw a verdict. Alright. So the control matchup. We want these. I'm going to assume we probably are going to want these as well. Now, I'm going to cut something probably along the lines of like this. Well, they do have Fae of Wishes. Yeah, I still think I'm going to cut that like that and just run it back like this. Also, maybe we want trophies. Do we think trophies gonna be better than abrupt decay? Or maybe we just want like a trophy for a once upon a time, and maybe let me bring in one of these just until we actually see some planeswalkers. Let's try that. I mean, again, there's none of those hands that we don't, if we don't, that's pretty good. All right, Spell Pierce, is that what we're going to have to deal with? Because in case anyone ever wondered, I'm not a fan of Spell Pierce. Okay, opt. I was about to say, if I get Spell Pierce, I'm going to be a little upset, even though, like, obviously we have the second hardened skills in hand, so it's not the end of the world. Alright, that coming to play on tap tells me they probably have a way of dealing with our, uh, our buddy here, so, yeah, let's play him. Yep, counterspell. Single pate. Now, here's the thing. Like, if we had another land in hand, maybe I wouldn't have just played into single pate. But, like, I don't think we can just sit back here and not play our cards out. 
Because like, I'm quite confident that playing our cards out results in us. Yep, absorb. Yep. Perhaps we should have led on the hardened scales there, maybe. Mm. Nice. All right, come on, let's draw land. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yep, make that a three three. Alright, I mean their entire deck's answers, right? So like this is what we expect. This is like literally what we expect. Yep. Kill spell in response. Sure. Yep. I mean, like, unfortunately, that's like just that's it. Like, their whole deck is removal spells. What do we expect them to have? My answer is removal. I expect them to have a lot of removal spells. Um. Let's take hanging back. Hope it doesn't get countered. Because these hanger backs like a really difficult one for them to deal with most of the time. Mm, until it gets lava coiled. Yep. I mean, like, what do we do here? Like, they have all the answers. We just got to keep playing our cards. And this sucks. Let's go with Fairy Hero of Dominaria. I don't know. I I really don't know what they could have. Like on the bright side, though, we now know they have a veto in hand. This also strongly leads me to believe that uh, I don't know. It doesn't strongly lead me to believe anything, to be honest. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's make them. Let's make them one for one. Me with a clary on here. Nope, they have a counter spell. Never mind. No one, no one for one. Well, that is a one for one, but you know what I mean. I was hoping to get Clarion out of their hand was my intention there. So that way my next threat would come down and be safe from it. Fortunately, this is not how this is going to work today. Yep, a rubber K is not going to help either. Hmm. Jesus. Uh. So I will say after after playing through this part of the match, uh Brup K is coming out. We don't have enough targets. Yep, Clarion. Veto into unknown. Yep. 
Yep, come on, Dex, show me some love. Alright, let's get that veto out of their hand. Yep, knew it without a doubt. Alright, two unknown. I'm hoping whatever they have in hand is just bad cards. Oh, uh, man. Oh. We've gone through basically equal parts of our own of our decks here and uh What are you naming? Karn Bastion? Or Nissa? Um, I'm not going to replicate right now. All right. Let's see if they have a counter spell. They do not. All right. All right. So I think that's what we're gonna do, actually. So as wonky as this sounds, All right, we're gonna. Shoot them for a bunch. I'll let it resolve. Then go to end step. All right, overseer. Last card. that there's that yep now we're gonna pass turn well I really felt like we were definitely dead in this matchup oh god they drew up another verdict sure All right, well. There's that. There's that. All right, opponent, you got one turn. Did you draw the approach? Did not, and we got there. Woo! Alrighty, that was good. That was close. Alright, so we recovered. Um, honestly, that third match, I feel like I lost this to match by not playing the best I could have. Uh, game 2, I don't remember what we played against. But that was the 0-2. Um, I don't remember much about that one, to be honest. Now looking back at it. But honestly, this deck is super sweet. If nothing else, it is a ton of fun. Um, so while it may not be like necessarily like, oh, super powerful, whatever, I think it is really good. But while that may not necessarily be the case, it is certainly one of the most fun decks in the format. I would highly recommend trying it. Um, again, just like with Modern, I do have a mandatory subscription, and I have the little link that you can use that will help me out, help you guys out, and you guys can play out some of these awesome decks. That we've been playing in Pioneer in Modern. You can even play Standard on Magic Online um, if you want to. Um, but yeah, check it out, guys. This deck's a lot of fun. The sweet synergies. The only thing is that is a little awkward is like we talked about the Steel Overseer only putting 
plus the most counters on artifact creatures, but still enough of our deck as artifact creatures that it's still worth it. Um, but like Rishkar, Winding Constrictor, Nissa, like those all working in in uh, chorus together is really awesome. I really like this deck. It's a lot of fun. Really strong. Um, yeah, definitely. It, it feels a lot like the Hardened Scales deck from uh, from Modern. Just it's not quite as strong as that deck because we don't have the uh, lands and we don't have like the opals to accelerate us and stuff. But it's really strong. It's really fun. Um, sideboard. I don't know. Cyber felt a little wonky, but again, also felt fine at the same time, so I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would help me out a ton if you would share this video to your social media, your magic playing groups, wherever anyone you know that might want to watch some magic content would enjoy this. Um, thank you guys in advance, and I will catch you guys uh, next time.